This jacket could save your life. So the collar actually can inflate into a helmet if you ever get in an accident. Or if you're just clumsy like me. But how does it know if you've gotten into an accident? Like imagine it just like goes off randomly. You're on a date, you know, just like trying to be smooth, talking to your date, being all romantic and then BAM! Inflatable helmet. You're at a job interview, you know, just telling them why they should hire you. BAM! Inflatable helmet. You see, that's why I just yell YEE! And it inflates. It's as simple as that. I'm kind of into it. Not gonna lie. This viewer is for colorblind people. So when they look in it, they can actually see colors again. This is so beautiful, guys. Oh, we need more things like this around the world. Because then somebody who's here trying to look at the view, they can like actually appreciate it in all its color. I love that. If you're a senior citizen in Singapore, you get a citizen card and you can use this card to tap it at crosswalks. And basically it'll give you more time to cross. You have five hours. So you don't have to like, rush or maybe you can't even rush this is wonderful i love it i love it that they're thinking about the older people this big pizza box can transform into a tiny little pizza box for leftovers it might be really useful for other people but honestly it's a little useless for me i eat all my pizza and that's a fact guys these are disposable batteries and i need them right now they're so cool. You can just like keep a few in your bag, in your pocket, in your hand. I don't know where else. In your boyfriend's pocket, your mom's pocket. And then you just didn't just throw them away. I love this. I need these. I just don't like how they're disposable too much. But honestly, I have the ones that you can charge and I never charge them and they're never charged. So the disposable ones are probably the way to go. I feel like that's what I need because I don't have to worry about charging them. This is brilliant. So it's a little indicator on the back of your bike that shines lights on your back. So, you know, if you stop, it'll tell people. If you're turning right, it'll tell people. If you're going forward, it tells people. I love this because there's so many bikers that get hit because cars don't see them. And now this should help, I hope. This is a magnetic wristband. So if you're using nails, you know, hammering pictures up in the wall or doing whatever, you're not gonna lose the nails. And then you're not gonna step on them later on. I love this. I actually love this. I kind of want one for bobby pins, you know? Because how annoying is it when you're doing your hair and then like... <laughs> can't find any bobby pins, I swear. I invest, and I say invest, in hundreds of bobby pins all the time. And then I'm left with one and I'm like, where did they all go? I don't know where they go, they just disappear. Vanishing act. Bobby pins are true magicians. I need this table to record videos. It's a table that has a bed hidden on the inside and you can close the flaps, so, you know, it's not loud and there's no sunlight. I love this. So I could just like record a video, sneak under my bed desk, sleep, wake up, Record, repeat. Believe it or not, this is how most YouTubers live. <laughs> this umbrella is amazing. First of all, your hair on fleek because no rain's getting in there. It's not flying away like every other umbrella. And here is the kicker. It's hands-free, you don't need to hold it. It's pretty good because you can still use your phone and we all know how important phones are. Super important, can okay, maybe not. But to me, they are. Oh, this is so cute. They're dance shoes. But I think it only works if, it, if a child is stepping on your feet. Otherwise, you're gonna have crushed feet. Unless they're really thick. I don't know. I haven't actually tried them. Want to. Maybe I'll finally learn how to dance, finally. I got like two left feet, so... <laughs> My dancing skills don't exist. This golf course uses golf balls that are made out of fish food, like 100% fish food. And you're like, why would you need to use a golf ball that's made out of fish food? Because sometimes golf balls, if like, you know, the golf course is close to water, end up in water. And then that plastic is not good for the fish. But if you're using golf balls that are 100% fish food, now the fish should just have a delicious meal. Delicious! Ugh, nah, I don't eat that. So it's perfect, everybody wins. You get to play golf and the fish get dinner. This door was made for first graders. Or for me, depending on how you look at it. But either way, no one needs a hard time trying to reach the handles. Oh, it's so cute and like low key, if they want to run, no teacher can chase them, so. <laughs> I'm sure that's not the intention, but I'm just putting it out there. Wow, okay, let's move on. This dressing room in a store has different buttons you can press so that it mimics the time of day. So if it, whether you're outside in daylight, whether it's dusk or night, so you can see how your outfit looks at any time of day. You know, maybe you're buying an outfit for a night out on the town and you wanna know what it looks like at night? 
They got you. They've thought of everything because I didn't even think about this. I never thought this was a thing. These shower buddies activate when you've spent too much water. So it's like, you're wasting water. All right, that's enough. And then they kind of push you out. I like the idea of this because I do think it's good to save the water. But I also like long showers. Like I'm allowed to have a vice, right? I won't smoke or do anything else. Like, can I just take long showers? <laughs> can that just be my thing? <laughs> This shoe store has places where you can test the shoes to see how comfortable they are. They even have Legos, those monsters. So basically, I mean, if you can step on Legos with shoes and not feel the Legos, you know, you know they're good. You know you protect it from all the elements. Do they have lava though? That's when I'll be really impressed. This parking garage has lines that go up the side of the wall, which is super helpful when people are trying to park. I mean, I can't relate, but also I feel like it'd be helpful. Oh, this person improved the Rubik's Cube. And you're like, Azzy, how could a Rubik's Cube be improved? And I'm like, this person made it so that people who are blind can also enjoy playing the Rubik's Cube. So they made each different color a different texture so that they know how to match it up. Everybody deserves to have fun. I love this. I love how inclusive the world has become lately. This supermarket in Sweden has the complete layout of the store on the cart. No more wasting time searching for chocolate. I go straight for the chocolate aisle. Jesus! This hallway is actually flat. I know. It's actually painted this way, so it looks like an optical illusion so that people don't run down the hallway. Honestly, this illusion is messing my mind. Like they're pro they probably don't want people to run in hallways so they don't fall and hurt themselves, but I feel like low key this would make me fall. It's about time we start funding this. So the lights on the top tell you which bathroom stalls are taken and which ones aren't. And when you gotta go, you don't have time to check every single stall and like knock on every single one. You just need to see which ones are off and run. Whoa, okay, this is a bathosphere. It's like a bathtub. This doesn't really make the world better. I don't even know why you would want a bathtub in the middle of your living room. But my mind is definitely blown. It's cool. I'll give it that much. I just don't understand its purpose. And then you would like ruin your floors because you would get water all over them. The supermarket has a dog parking spot. I always get so sad when I see people's like dogs outside and then they're like crying for their owners. But like, obviously you can't bring your dogs into every store just because rules, you know? So I get it, but also I feel so bad for them. I'm always like, oh, you poor puppy. It's been rough out here. But at least this seems like safer because the dog can't actually run away instead of like the makeshift leashes when they tie them. Just don't take too long. This is jeans, a soap gun. This is at the car wash for you to shoot cars with soap when they're going through the car wash. Who knew you could make a boring job like a car wash so much fun? It might not be boring, but this definitely made it more fun. This is brilliant. So it's a sign in a restaurant that tells you if you're feeling uncomfortable, you're not feeling safe with whoever you're with, maybe you're, you're on a date and you don't know the person very well, you can go up to the bar and ask for Angela. And that's code for them getting you somewhere safe. And they will call an Uber for you and get you out of the situation super discreetly. I think like everywhere should have something like this. But I guess if it was everywhere, like guys would start picking up on you saying like, asking for Angela. And like, what if Angela actually works there? Then what's what's happening there? Either way, I love this idea and I think they deserve a round of applause. This is a book filled with information about how to clean water. And not only that, but the pages in the book actually can filter water themselves. There's so many countries that don't have clean water. So this this is great. You know, the, the little things, little things we take for granted like this, like some people struggle for that. So it's always important to remember that and not take for granted what we have. This bus is powered by human waste. Wait, what? <clears throat> Does it smell though? I don't know, am I being immature? But seriously, as long as it's good for the environment, I'm cool with it, but I'm... I got questions. This bookmark lamp is so cool. You can go to bed and actually read your favorite book in the dark without straining your eyes. I love this. And then it also, you can use it as a bookmark. Guys, these little pots will actually filter rainwater and water your plants for you. I need this in my life. I kill all the plants. Not intentionally, of course. I'm just really bad plant mommy. I try, I try guys. This is a bracelet that Alzheimer's patients can wear. It has a barcode on it that you can actually scan in case somebody gets lost and they can't remember where they're at or who they are. And it tells you what medicine they need and the contact info for their relatives. 
I love this. This is the kite patch and apparently can keep mosquitoes away for up to 48 hours. That is a dream come true. Honestly, I wish people would love me the way mosquitoes love me. Mosquitoes love me. I am that one person and, that, and you know, either it's you or one of your friends or one of your family members, but there's always one person that mosquitoes favor and I'm that person. We'll go up north, like go camping, do whatever. And we'll come back and nobody will have many bites, I'll have one or two. I'll be covered. I need this. I seriously, seriously need this. Apparently the way it works is that it blocks the mosquito's ability to sense carbon dioxide leaving your mouth. Also, mosquitoes spread so many horrible diseases like malaria and West Nile. I think this is a great, great invention. And I'm actually gonna look into this. I'm gonna say this into the new tab. This place has put fire exit signs on the floor in case you're crawling. Cause if there ever is a fire, smoke floats up. So you do need to get low on the floor, so, you know, cause the oxygen is only left there. So just a little tip. Hopefully that never happens to you. But if there is a fire, you crawl on the floor. And this place has fire exits. So you know which way to walk because obviously if they're on the ceiling and you can't see them. I don't know why nobody's ever thought about this. <laughs> the most convenient basket design. Wow. Totally, because you see here how it like bends in so that when you're holding the basket, it's not slamming against your body every time. I love this. Love this for me and end for you. Why aren't all plugs like this? This is so convenient. You know how many times I struggle to put pu plugs and take them out of the wall? I'm glad it's not just me because clearly other people are struggling too if they had to make this. Can there be a movement? This mushroom in a park is filled with kids books and you can literally just take a book, read it. You know, if you have extra books at home, you can put it in there. I love seeing these things all around the city. I've, I've seen them in Amsterdam. I've seen them in Toronto. I hope they exist everywhere because it's awesome. Sometimes, you know, people can't afford books and it's nice if you've finished a book, what are you going to do? If you're not going to read it again, it's always nice to give it away to somebody who can enjoy it as well. Puppy kissing booth. Oh, this is a donation booth for guide dogs. That's so cute. Love me. This is brilliant. This pill bottle lid lets you know the last time you opened it. So you know when the last time you took your medication, you know, cause sometimes, especially when people get older, they forget how often they've taken their medication and they only need to take it once a day. So you can tell by the last time you opened it. Oh, this swing, it lets a parent and a child on at the same time. That is so sweet. I love this guys. And this is the wheelchair swing. All of these are melting my heart. That's so cute guys. I love that the world is thinking more about everybody. People really can be awesome. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other. Bye-bye!